Today on 3D Outdoors, we're going to teach you how to clean your catch. Stay tuned. All right, a successful day on the water and the next thing you need to do is take care of those fish. You've put the time and the effort into catching these beautiful fish. Now what are you going to do with them next? Well, you need to prepare them for a nice meal. Now I'm going to go into a couple of ways that I fillet out a walleye and show you how I do that. Now this particular method will work on pretty much all game fish. All game fish have pretty much the same bone structure except for if you get into like northern pike, something like that, that has the extra Y bone. But your walleyes and your smallmouth, largemouth, white bass, um, your perch, all of those will have the same bone structure. It has the same basic um, spine and bone structure in it and the same pin bones and we'll get into those here in just a second. I'm going to zoom the camera in so that you have a better view and then we'll get into filleting out this walleye. Now first of all you, you need yourself a nice clean area. You need yourself a waste basket. I, I have a, a bucket with a liner in it already so that I can drop all the cleanings into it. You need a good dependable fillet knife. I'm using my Bubba cordless which I could have cleaned these fish on the tailgate of the truck which a lot of times I will we're late in the season and the cleaning stations are closed and obviously in the winter time we ice fish so we're going to need to clean the fish somewhere um, I just brought them back to the HQ here to, to clean them for ease of cleaning it was like 32 to 35 degrees outside on the way back so these fish stayed perfectly good inside the live well on the trip and then I have some paper towels for wiping up any excess goo that we need to. <clears throat> now the first step we're going to do is we're going to find right behind this front fin. You see this front fin here, if we put our, our knife just at an angle, <clears throat> right behind that, and we're going to cut right down to the spine, halfway through. And then we're going to turn the knife and kind of lay it down as we cut. And as we go back, we're cutting through the rib cage. And we'll take care of that in a minute. And we keep right on going all the way down to the tail. Now we're not going to cut through, at least I don't. You can. But what I do is I pull the fish forward. I have a nice big cutting board and I lay that fillet down. So now I have that fillet flat back here. I can go right to that tail section and I can cut down, put just enough force so that your knife goes to the skin. We're going to take the skin off right now. And as we push down, we'll run right up that fish. And you can see we've taken off, we left a little bit of that bloodline behind and we're just going to lay this over and we'll repeat on the other side. Again, we're going to flip that over. We're keeping all the intestines and the gooey stuffs up here. That we can throw it away. We're going to start right at the edge of that tail. And we're going to work our way right down. I'm going to throw the rest of this in my pail. Flip that skin over. Drop all that right into my pail in my bag. If you're at a, a cleaning station, obviously they have the disposals there. But at home, you need to do it this way. Now the unfortunate part is I did not bleed these fish. You see a little bit of blood with that there. Um, I didn't take the time to cut the gill plates. You can cut right below the gill plates there and bleed them out in your live well and then you don't have that, that blood that I just had there. Another quick tip for you there. Okay, then the way that I have done it for many, many years is I'm gonna go right under this rib. Now there's not, you can see on here, there's not a lot of meat between that rib cage and 
the edge of the fish there, but we're going to try to save some of it if we can here. It was a larger fish, this is about a 15 and a half inch saw guy, great eating, and we may not be able to save a lot of this, this rib meat, but we're going to go in here and see what we can save. And we're just going to go right to the back here, working right underneath those ribs, and we're just going to fold them right over as we fillet them out of there. All right, and we got just a little bit of belly trimmings there. We'll cut that right off, and you can see the ribs are right out of there now. Now the one other bone you need to worry about in these walleyes, if you don't want to be picking them out, is right dead center along the lateral line, there is a row of pin bones. And they are straight, completely straight, and they point straight up in the air. So we're going to find that, and we're going to go down each side of that with this fillet knife to cut that out. And you're going to see you're wasting a little, little bit, but yeah, you don't, you don't want to be picking those bones out. And if you're making this for somebody else, you don't want them picking them bones out. And that bone runs right to the, what you, you call the, the vent hole in the back. So right near the back there, where the belly ends is where that bone ends. And then we're gonna cut right along this side and go right up. Trim that out and all of those little bones that you'd have to spend lots of time picking out and getting irritated with are all right in that little piece. We're gonna throw that away, and this is a completely boneless filet of walleye. And a little tip, if you had much larger walleyes than the ones I'm cleaning tonight, these are all about 15 and a half inches, great eaters. But if you ever run into any big 18 to 22 inches, if you're cleaning them up to that big, normally, Almost everything over 20 we throw back, but sometimes maybe up to 22 we might keep. But if you're cleaning bigger fish right behind the eye, there's the eye right there, you can feel a pocket right here. Now I'm going to try to extract it on this one. I don't know if I can, um, but that's the cheek meat. And there won't be much on this one because it's just a, a small fish. On the larger fish, this becomes a very, very good piece to save. And right there, the skin came right off of that. There is that little piece of meat that's called the cheek. Now on larger walleyes, you can get those up to you know, this is only about quarter size or a little under. You can get them pretty, pretty good size if you get to like a 21, 22 inch or if you're cleaning them that big. That can be a big piece of meat and that is a tasty piece of meat. So there's just a little extra tidbit. And just enjoy those delicious fish that you harvested from the great outdoors. This is Dan with 3D Outdoors reminding you to get into the outdoors and enjoy everything it has to offer. If you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button at the bottom. We'll see you next time.